Rome is an incredible and popular place to visit. It's known as a culturally and historically rich city with many things to discover, explore, experience, and taste, and it's earned that reputation. You can see ancient ruins, savor some incredible pizza or pasta dishes, and shop for some incredible local goods, all in the same day. Welcome to Multi-City Trips, the multi-destination travel expert for personalized multi-city trips to Europe. And in today's video, we give you our top pick and travel guide to seven of the best neighborhoods to visit or stay in when you visit Rome. New to our travel channel? We post new videos every Monday and Thursday, so subscribe today and ring the bell so you don't miss out on our latest travel guide, inspiration, tips, and amazing travel itineraries available to your favorite destinations in Europe. For this list, we focus on the best neighborhoods in Rome for different types of travelers and travel purposes. You'll get to know what each of the neighborhoods is famous for and what are the best things you can see and do in the area. Also, if you're looking for a great place to stay during your trip in Rome, ensure to check out our video description below for our recommended best hotels and accommodations you can stay in each neighborhood. Let's begin. Number 1. Trastevere Trastevere is one of the most popular neighborhoods in Rome. It has stunning architecture, great food, and many things to do. This is the best neighborhood for you if you love nightlife. The population of this neighborhood tends to be younger as there are many students and recent graduates. So if you're looking to experience bars and clubs, this is a great neighborhood for you. In what may seem like a sharp contrast, this is also a great neighborhood in Rome for the history lover. Quite a bit of architecture is original, which means it's been preserved since the Middle Ages. It's also home to the famous Basilica of Santa Maria in Trastevere, one of the oldest churches in Rome. Number 2. Testaccio This Roman neighborhood is an incredible place to visit if you're a foodie. Visit the Mercato di Testaccio. This glass-roofed market that sits atop a Roman archaeological site is a great place to walk around while enjoying the local food and culture. If you find yourself craving a panini when you're there, head on over to Mordi Eve, a food stall that sells some of the best paninis in Rome. Even if you aren't craving one, you won't regret giving this place a try. Try some of the traditional Roman fare at Agostarello a Testaccio. This small restaurant is popular with the locals, so if you want to experience the authentic foodie culture of the neighborhood, you'll want to add this place to your list. Number 3. Monti Monti might best be considered a young and hip neighborhood that's great for artists and creative types. If you visit this neighborhood, you can enjoy the cobblestone streets and incredible historic architecture that you see throughout most of Rome, but you can enjoy it with a side of great local art, artisans, and unique vintage shopping opportunities. On Sundays in Monti, you have the opportunity to visit Mercato Monti, an indoor market where you can buy goods from independent designers and local artists. You can also sift through collections of vintage clothing, jewelry, records, and more. Number 4. San Giovanni The neighborhood of San Giovanni is the place to go if you're seeking the local experience and hoping to avoid tourists. Quite a bit of the area is residential, so if you're interested in staying long term or simply experiencing what it would be like to live in Rome, San Giovanni is the place for you. You see some exceptional architecture and history in San Giovanni, starting with the Basilica di San Giovanni in Laterano one of Rome's most important churches. It's also the oldest church in all of Europe. The date it was constructed is unknown, but it is estimated to have been built in the early part of the 4th century.
Number five, Prati. Prati is an upscale neighborhood in Rome that's bursting with Art Nouveau charm. It's also where the Vatican City is located. So if that's on your itinerary for your trip, you'll want to spend some time here. The Vatican museums are a great place to soak in some history and see incredible sculptures, paintings, and more. The tours of the museum feature multiple routes that showcase different aspects of the incredible and historic collections. This is also the place to visit if you want to see the Sistine Chapel, the chapel in the Apostolic Palace, the Pope's official residence. It was consecrated in 1483 and is perhaps most famous for its frescoes. The incredible paintings that cover the ceiling and altar wall were both painted by famed artist Michelangelo in the early 1500s. Each piece took him roughly four years to complete, so if you're interested in art and history, you'll want to visit the Vatican and see this incredible work of art in person. Number 6. Trevi If you want to have the quintessential experience in Rome inspired by the way you've seen it portrayed in television or movies, Trevi is the neighborhood for you. You can ride a Vespa over the cobblestone streets like Audrey Hepburn did in Roman Holiday, or toss a coin into the Trevi Fountain like many have done before. According to tradition, if you toss a coin in with your right hand over your left shoulder while your back is to the fountain, you will visit Italy again. And after your experiences staying in Trevi, you'll surely hope that legend is true. Other sites in Trevi include the Spanish Steps. This set of stairs was built in 1723 and eventually became a meeting place for artists. In fact, a home that once belonged to writer and poet John Keats still stands today and is now a museum to both Keats and Percy Bysshe Shelley, among other writers. The Spanish Steps is often considered one of the most photographed places in the world, and it is a great place to relax and enjoy the artistic culture of the neighborhood. Number 7. San Lorenzo The neighborhood of San Lorenzo is home to Sapienza University and therefore it's a great area to stay if you want the laid-back but fun experience that comes from being surrounded by a significant population of college students and recent graduates. During World War II, San Lorenzo was bombed heavily and never fully recovered to its original state. Due to the influx of college students, a more modern series of shops, restaurants, and nightclubs have been slowly popping up, consequently replacing some of the older markets. If you're interested in staying in a part of Rome that is affordable, fun, and has a great atmosphere, San Lorenzo is the place for you. There you have it! Our top pick and travel guide to 7 of the best neighborhoods to visit or stay in when you visit Rome. We hope you find our guide helpful, and if you are planning a trip to Rome, don't forget to check out the video description for our recommended hotels and accommodations you can stay in in each neighborhood. Did your favorite area or neighborhood in Rome make our list? Comment below with your own list of the best areas you prefer to stay in or would like to stay in while in Rome. Need help planning and finding the best vacation package to Rome or other European cities? Visit us at multicitytrips.com today and see how our travel experts can help you design and personalize your private European vacation.